Hi, I'm Daniel Brownstone. I'm an attorney at Fenwick & West in San Francisco. My coming out story was pretty basic. I grew up in a small town in Canada, small town by American standards, and I didn't have any gay friends. And I met people online before the internet, learned a little bit about being gay, but it wasn't really until I went away to college that I met friends and realized that it was okay to be gay. And one of the things that I discovered is, even if you're from a small town in the middle of nowhere, or some other place that's not accepting, a community that's not accepting, you can look forward to moving to a place like San Francisco, or New York, or Miami, or Atlanta, or DC, or any of a host of places across the world where there are gay communities, and you'll be accepted. And it's a wonderful story because you may feel like in the middle of nowhere, you're, there's nobody like you. But there are people like you all over the place, and you just have to find them, and that's part of the struggle. And when you get there, it turns out that the people that you meet are more than just gay people. They're, they're people that have jobs and careers, and you do too. There are probably things that you're very good at. For me, it was computers. I learned how to program when I was 10, 11, 12 years old. I got a degree in computer science. I went to law school. Now I'm in the Valley, in Silicon Valley, and I work with some of the most high-tech computer companies that there are. And it's not because I'm gay. It's in addition to being gay. And gay is certainly my identity. I'm very happy to be gay. I'm out. Everyone knows. But it's only part of my identity. And that's kind of the best it can get because you don't let your gay identity define you as a person. It's part of who you are. I'm Canadian. I'm Jewish. I'm gay. I'm a computer programmer. I'm a lawyer. I'm a lot of things. But if I were to sit at home and just worry about being gay and, and think that there was nothing out there for me because I'm gay, I never would have, if I had done that, I never would have been where I am now. I'm, I'm happy that I'm gay, but I'm gay and all these other things. Being gay is a wonderful thing, but it's not all that there is. And when I was lonely growing up and didn't know anybody else who was gay because I didn't, I got through it by thinking about two things. The first was that there were things I was good at. I was good at typing. I was good at computers. I was good at debating. Uh, I was good at relating to people. And I knew that those things would get me through uh, no matter what people thought about me for being gay. The other was that I knew that I wasn't always going to be where I was living. I knew that there was San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, DC, Atlanta, lots of places that you can go or that I could have gone where there are large gay communities. And those people are, are, are not just gay, but they're also good at computers and politics and uh, guitar and every other thing you can imagine. And I knew that there would be a community where I would find acceptance. And sure enough, I did. It happens to be San Francisco, but it could have been anywhere. And that's how it gets better. It gets better because your gay identity becomes a piece of you that defines you, but doesn't overwhelm you. And it's something that you can exist in harmony uh, with the other things that you do in your life. And it does get better.